Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to introduce you to use the text tool in Paint 3D. If you want to watch a full tutorial on Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video about using shapes, stickers and textures in Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to introduce you to use the text tool in Paint 3D. First of all, I'm going to open Paint 3D from the Windows Programs list. Click Start. And then on Paint 3D. Now that Paint 3D is open, I'm going to open a new blank project by clicking on New. I'm going to click on it. Now that we've opened a new canvas, I'm going to click on the text tool. And I'm going to left click and drag on the canvas to create a text box. I'm going to type Welcome to Text Center. We can adjust the size of the text box by using these grip points on the outline box. I'm going to make it slightly larger. I'm going to left click and drag on the text to select it. To change the font of the text, click on this field. If we scroll down or if we scroll up, you can see different fonts. I'm going to choose Calibri. Now the text is Calibri font. To change the font size, click on this field over here. I'm going to increase the size of the text to 72. I'm going to change the color of the text to orange. So I'm going to click on the color box. I'm going to choose orange. To make the text bold, italics or underline, click these buttons. I'm going to start off with bold. If I click on bold, the text has been bolded. If I click on italics and underline, the text has been italics and it is now underlined. To see that, I'm going to click on the text to deselect it. You can see that the text is orange, it's bold, it's italics and it's underlined. If you want to remove any of these bold, italics or underline, you have to click and drag to select the text. Then you have to click on the format button that you want to get rid of. I don't want the text to be italics anymore, so I'm going to click on italics. If I click on the text to deselect it, you can see that the text is no longer italics. Let me resize the text box so the text fits all in one line. I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to click and drag on the text to select it. We can also change the alignment of the text. Currently it's left. If we want it to the right, we can click on right. But for me, I want it to be in the center of the text box. I'm going to click on center. You can see that it's in the center. If we deselect the text by clicking on it, and the next option is background fill. So if we click on it, you can see that the text box has been filled with a color. And the default color is yellow. I'm going to change this color because the text is not visible. I'm going to change it by click on the color box and choose a color from this color palette. I'm going to choose this cyan color. You can see that the background of the text box is now cyan. I'm going to rotate this text. Now the text is rotated. I'm going to bring it onto the canvas. Once you're satisfied with your text, click outside the text box to deselect the command. You can see that the text is now on the canvas. 
Now that I've shown you how to do text, let me save this file. Menu. Save. I'm going to save this file in the same folder as where we saved the other two files. This PC. Documents. I'm going to call this file sample file 3. Then I'm going to click save. I'm going to close paint 3D. In my future videos I'll be posting tutorials on paint 3D and how to make games in Python. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you like this video please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below so you can watch the video. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links to all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at 4 at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!